Hi! Welcome to Test Academy TV. In this video, I'll show you how to multiply decimal numbers. Okay, to show you how to multiply decimal numbers, let's answer this question. What is the product of 562 thousands and 43 hundredths? To multiply decimal numbers, let's arrange the numbers like this. Then, multiply just like whole numbers. We need to multiply each digit of the multiplicand by each digit of the multiplier from right to left. Now, let's answer. 2 times 3 equals 6. Next digit, 6 times 3 equals 18. Bring down 8, carry 1. Then, 5 times 3 equals 15. Plus 1 equals 16. Bring down 6, carry 1. Next, 0 times 3 equals 0, plus 1 equals 1. Now, let's proceed to the next digit of the multiplier. So, let's multiply 2 times 4. The answer is 8. We will write the answer in the second row, second column from right. Next, 6 times 4 equals 24. Bring down 4, carry 2. Then, 5 times 4 equals 20, plus 2 equals 22. Bring down 2, carry 2. 0 times 4 equals 0, plus 2 equals 2. Okay, there is no whole number in the multiplier to be multiplied by each digit in the multiplicand, so we can add the partial products to get the final products now. Or, you can also multiply each digit of the multiplicand by zero. And of course, all answers are zeros. But, it will just consume space and time. So, let's do the shortcut method. Okay, let's add now. First, bring down 6. Then, add 8 plus 8 equals 16. Bring down 6, carry 1. 1 plus 6 plus 4 equals 11. Bring down 1, carry 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4 and the last one bring down 2 the next step is to put the decimal point in the product to put the decimal point in the product we need to count the decimal places of the multiplicand and the multiplier then we need to count the digits in the product from right to left equal to the decimal places of the multiplicand and the multiplier then we put the decimal point since there are five decimal places in the numbers that we multiplied, then we need to count five. One, two, three, four, five. Then put the decimal point. Next, write zero at the left of the decimal point. So the answer is 24,166 hundred thousands. Okay, let's have another example. What is the product if 6 and 425 thousandths is multiplied by 8 and 91 hundredths? Okay, let's solve this to get the product. So let's write 6 and 425 thousandths times 8 and 91 hundredths. Now, let's multiply. 5 times 1 equals 5. 2 times 1 equals 2. 4 times 1 equals 4, and 6 times 1 equals 6. Okay, let's proceed to the next digit. 5 times 9 equals 45. Bring down 5, carry 4. Next, 2 times 9 equals 18. Plus 4 equals 22. Bring down 2, carry 2. Then, 4 times 9 equals 36, plus 2 equals 38. Bring down 8, carry 3. 6 times 9 equals 54, plus 3 equals 57. 
Okay, let's proceed to the third digit. 5 times 8 equals 40. Bring down 0, carry 4. Next, 2 times 8 equals 16, plus 4 equals 20. Bring down 0, carry 2. Then, 4 times 8 equals 32, plus 2 equals 34. Bring down 4, carry 3. Then, multiply the last one. 6 times 8 equals 48, plus 3 equals 51. Okay, next step is to add the partial products to get the final product. So, let's add now. Okay, first, bring down 5. Then, add 2 plus 5 equals 7. 4 plus 2 plus 0 equals 6. 6 plus 8 plus 0 equals 14. Bring down 4, carry 1. Then, 1 plus 7 plus 4 equals 12. Bring down 2, carry 1. 1 plus 5 plus 1 equals 7. And the last one, bring down 5. Next, put the decimal point in the product. Since there are 5 decimal places in the multiplicand and the multiplier, so we need to count 5 digits from the right in the product. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then put the decimal point. The answer is 57 and 24,675 hundred thousands. For the last example, let's multiply 2 and 6,875 ten thousands by 13. Okay, let's solve now. So let's multiply. 5 times 3 equals 15. Bring down 5, carry 1. 7 times 3 equals 21, plus 1 equals 22. Bring down 2, carry 2. 8 times 3 equals 24, plus 2 equals 26. Bring down 6, carry 2. Then 6 times 3 equals 18. Plus 2 equals 20. Bring down 0, carry 2. And then 2 times 3 equals 6. Plus 2 equals 8. Okay, let's proceed to the next digit. 5 times 1 equals 5. 7 times 1 equals 7. 8 times 1 is 8. 6 times 1 equals 6. And 2 times 1 equals 2. Now, let's add the partial products. So, first bring down 5, then 2 plus 5 equals 7, 6 plus 7 equals 13, bring down 3, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 8 equals 9. 8 plus 6 equals 14, bring down 4, carry 1. And 1 plus 2 equals 3. Next, put the decimal point in the product. There are four decimal places in the numbers that we multiplied. So we need to count four digits from the right in the product. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, then put the decimal point. The answer is 34 and 9,375 ten thousands. Now you can try to solve this problem to see if you learn in this video. Find the product of 9,025 ten thousands and 45 hundreds.